Hey, it's Olivia at OMG Artistry, and we are here at Cosmoprof Workshop in Linwood, Washington. I am teaching social media today with Darina, and I'm so excited to explain to you guys exactly what I look for when it comes to photography. A lot of people look at pictures and they say, is this a good picture or is this a bad picture? Sometimes it's actually not about the picture at all. It's about the background of the photos. So let's look at some pictures that would actually be bad examples of backgrounds. What would be wrong with a picture just like this? Okay, beautiful hair, but there's a baby. There's a baby in the background. There's a person in the background, right? What about this photo down here? Now you look at this picture, it's actually extremely blown out and there's stuff in the background as well. What would be wrong with the photo like this, okay? Well, take a look at the stations over here. Take a look at the yellow walls, right? It's actually reflecting the hair to look almost orange. And then what's wrong with this picture, right? This picture is just a hot mess all over. Well, guess what? These are all my photos. These are all my photos when I was 21 through 25 years old. Let me show you my photos now. With your aspect of your backgrounds, you have to be very cognizant of what you want to see and what you don't want to see. So for me, I love lots of white backgrounds looking extremely clean. I have a pro tip actually. If you have a problem photographing dark hair, you wanna make sure that you use a shine spray and a flash on your camera right before you take the picture. So when I'm also posting on my actual physical page, I'll use little things like secret techniques. So people will actually wanna click on the actual image to figure out what the secret technique is. Also, when I'm posting on my Instagram page, I have something that shows that you're actually about to learn something, hence the flat iron in the hand in hair. Now, what's different about this photo right here? Can you all take a guess? It's the crop. Look at how beautifully cropped this photo is. I'm actually cutting off the bottom of her hair as well as the top of the hair. Photos like this actually do extremely well on my Instagram page because think about it like this. How big is your phone, okay? If you're doing a photo that has so much background and the photo is only this big, can they really even see the hair? So sometimes when you actually zoom in and crop in the photo, you'll actually be able to see it a lot better. You wanna be a little bit purposeful when it comes to your aesthetic. So this is actually a faux background that I use at the salon. So I film always in corners because what happens is when you film in corners, you have a white wall here, you have a white wall here, and then you have a ring light right in front of you. So the ring light will actually help to balance out off all of the walls in order to be able to see better. Darina's gonna talk a little bit about that now. This has been Olivia at OMG Artistry. Thank you so much. Make sure you follow me on Instagram.